to set Morgan Elspeth. I will fulfill my destiny. Mercy only breeds defeat. But I will help you overcome this weakness. Star Wars Tales of the Empire. I right, so Star Wars Tales of the Empire is basically just like Star Wars Tales of the Jedi. It tells it has six episodes, short little mini episodes, each episode's really on about 15 minutes long, 16 minutes long. It tells the story of two different characters. Where Tales of Jedi told different stories of Count Dooku and Ahsoka Tano. These stories tell the story of Morgan Elizabeth, Elizabeth, I think that's what her name is, and a Barris Offrey. So both characters are. It was very. It was very two interesting stories. Both kind of feel very similar to each other. One one chooses to go full on dark side. The other one says, "You know what." I've had enough of this dark side uh, bullshit. So the the first I'm gonna go into the first three episodes about Morgan. Morgan is a character that was introduced in the Mandalorian, and then also her story was pretty much ended in Ahsoka. If you wanted to see the f finale of those characters, you can check out Ahsoka and Mandalorian. But the story it starts off uh, on Dathomir because you know she's a night sister. Her 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 people get wiped out in those episodes. And, and and then we were basically shown kind of in the middle of that battle where you see her, she is able to escape. She connects with the Mountain Clan people and they were like, there's a different path where you can follow. It feels like the Mountain people are like the light side of the Night Sisters. So that was kind of interesting. But when, you, when you're on a dark path and you see your mother get killed right before you, you're like, you know what? I just want revenge. And so she chooses a different path. Then it takes place years later. It's, it was kind of interesting to find out that Morgan was the architect of the the Imperial Interceptor, which was a big focus in the last two seasons of Star Wars Rebels, which was Grand Admiral Thrawn's main initiative. And it was awesome to see Admiral Thrawn. I wooed when I saw Thrawn. I mean, I'm repping my Admiral Thrawn shirt today because I knew he was supposed to show up. So it's always cool. And it was cool seeing Ruck in there. And it was also seeing the planet from Mandalorian that she's over. That I thought that was I thought that was very cool with the with the canon of what they've been doing. And then you know she's just like I'm I'm going full I'm I'm going full dark side I have this plan and I have this vision that my people will return and my planet was it was kind of cool to watch the story starts off in fire and ends in fire though the imagery was just really cool so I really did enjoy the first three episodes but really the second three episodes because I've been wondering ever since the events of Star Wars Clone Wars season five which was a long time ago. What happened to Barrett's offering? Does she join the dark side? Does she just get um, executed by Palpatine? Well, apparently she turns into one of the Inquisitors, which was very interesting, uh, her path and how the dark path she went on. But as the story continued, she was like, I don't really like this empire I'm working for. I'm, I'm not a complete uh, psychopath, which you can tell, like, tell the fifth sister is. And then just the journey and how she becomes this new character, the healer. And it feels like it takes many years after the events of that second episode. And I thought it was really, really cool. So I really liked it and it really leaves you with more questions. Does Barris live? Does she not live? So I thought that was very cool. So overall, guys, Star Wars... Tales of the Empire was a very interesting watch. It, it made for a quick watch on Star Wars Day. Made a forfeit with you, even though it's now Revenge of the Fifth. I hope you all enjoyed watching Tales of the Empire. I would love to see another season of it. And maybe, focus, maybe we can like swap light side, dark side every other season. That'd be kind of cool. So guys, what are your thoughts on Tales of the Empire? Where they are... Comment below, let me know. And guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs button, subscribe to see more, and tell your friends about Easy Nation. And may the force be with you. Always. Oh,